Make sure you follow me on Twitch for live interactive gameplay. So as a Star Wars fan, after playing Star Wars Battlefront, the 2015 version, uh, I was really pissed off. I was really uh, saddened at the way that EA treated the franchise. Um, even though like, I, I thought that DICE did a really good job at like the immersion factor, graphic fidelity, uh, the audio and the music and the score and all that was just absolutely amazing. They dropped the ball where it counts, and that's in the gameplay. If the gameplay is not there, nobody is going to want to play it, and that's exactly what I said when I played the the open beta for the first game and now we're here it's star wars battlefront 2 and i i can't shake the feeling that we're here again uh but it's just not as much like i'm, I'm actually kind of sitting on the fence about it um so let's start with what i did enjoy about the beta um obviously the graphics and the audio and the music are completely on point it again feels like you are in a star wars movie and it's some of the best f nostalgia boner feeling that i think i've ever seen in a video game that i've ever felt while playing a game it's super dope when i'm streaming and i just get fucked up by darth maul and i'm just smiling about it uh it's 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 i don't know the nostalgia is off the fucking charts with it um Gameplay wise, I, I I honestly I just want to jump right into the gameplay. Um, the gameplay is better than the first one. What I will say is it, it feels not as shallow and not as casual. However, it still feels pretty fucking casual. It looks like the main uh, game mode going into the game is uh, this uh, Galactic Assault. Um, the map that we are playing on Naboo in this video, you basically, one team is escorting an MTT towards the throne and you have to defend it if you're the other team. The, the, the MTT section when you're outside in the city is fucking garbage. Like, it's, <laughs> I haven't played a game yet where they haven't made it all the way through because a, a lot of these people just play it casually they just they're shooting and they don't really give a shit about the objective it's just boring it's fucking it's just lame it's like i don't know if they're trying to like do like a payload type of thing like from overwatch but it it, it was just terrible when you get into the throne and you're actually defending the point and it's a little bit more condensed it's a lot better i will say if i could just play that the whole time i would be super happy um having all the heroes run around like Darth Maul and you can see Rey and shit, Han Solo, and they're running around within the throne room and you're actually seeing all the action. It's dope. Outside with the MTT can fuck off. Now, the space assault or the space battle mode or whatever, um, really cool. I really enjoy jumping into like an X-Wing, TIE Fighter, and just flying around doing objectives. That being said, I'm playing on PC and the controls for flying on a mouse and keyboard are fucking abysmal. Like, it is, it is absolutely just mind-blowing that dice could fuck this up considering they come from battlefield and like battlefield has been doing flying on pc for like forever and and just playing it in battlefront is just so frustrating having to aim the way you do with the mouse it, it's 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 just very strange i haven't tried it with a controller yet i imagine that it would play a lot better if you did have the use of the two joysticks i'm i'm just saying i think that they need to refine those controls and change them um just god awful but the mode itself is fucking cool and then they gave us the the strike game mode where it's like 16 players 8v8 and you're well the one i was playing you had to escort and like pick up this item and take it to your extraction and that was really intense it was a long back and forth i thought it was going to be like quick little scenarios no the way they have the spawn set up frustrating at first until you realize what they're doing they're trying to kind of prolong gameplay and make you have to work as a team that is where i think the game shines when you actually have to work as a team people have to push and flank certain directions and and just just work as a fucking team and it's a lot more focused and it's not as chaotic you still have everything going on but it's just not as blown out of proportion as galactic assault i like the strike system now i want to talk about these fucking loot crates because um i thought it was just going to be cosmetic shit and i'd be like okay that's fine it, it appears that in the beta at least you can open up crates that actually affect gameplay 
Um, you can get abilities, you can get weapons, and then obviously the other stuff like victory poses and all that stuff. But the abilities and the weapons that you can actually throw on your character and use permanently, they're there. <laughs> and it, the, the thing that I'm really confused about is they're there. It's a scumbag system, but I honestly feel that the way the game plays, that it's not pay to win. If you guys can roll with me for a sec, I really feel that I could throw anything on my character that I want, but the way that the bullet sponge mechanics work, because we're shooting with lasers and over shields and all this shit, it's just, it doesn't feel like I'm overpowering my character applying these weapons and abilities. There's a character on the other team that will fuck my shit up. That being said, I'd, I'd rather just not have the loot crate system in here. Like, we, we, we don't need this. We don't need this in fucking games. Unfortunately, that is now becoming the standard, and that's just a shame because I feel like a good unlock system would be, be really good for this game, but they're just going the loot crate route, which fucking sucks. Overall, like, I will say, it's an improvement off of the first one. Um, will I pick it up? I probably will, and I'll probably only play it casually. Where I'm at right now, uh, mentally and the games that I'm into now, I'm more based in reality, where I'm playing games like PUBG, where the shooting mechanics actually matter. You're talking about leading targets and, and laying in bushes and fucking more tactical, Ghost Recon, Insurgency, and Squad. I'm playing realistic shooters in comparison to Star Wars Battlefront 2. There's nothing inherently wrong with Battlefront 2, but where I'm at right now, it is not for me. It's kind of the same reason why I don't play and don't enjoy Fortnite. People have been asking me my opinions of Fortnite, and that might be another video if you guys want to hear that more in depth, but Fortnite is just way too casual and way too arcade and way too RNG for my taste right now. Not saying that anything is bad about it. I, I literally can't look at Fortnite and be like, this game sucks. Because it doesn't. It's just not where I'm at right now. And I think Battlefront falls in that as well. And that's kind of where I'm at with it. I want to know what you guys think. If you guys have played the beta, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of the actual beta. And let me know what you guys are enjoying, disliking, and whatever the case is. We'll just have a conversation down in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, share it on social media. Shout out to everyone who has been supporting me over on my website, bigfry.gg. All the people coming through to the Twitch streams, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you for rocking with me. And I'll see you on the next one.